All right, you know what time it is. It's time to go get this gym session in. Today I'm gonna be doing chest. I'll bring you guys along for the workout. Um, I just got done taking my pre-workout. I'm gonna share with you what I use. This is the product I've been using for a while. I really like this one. Pump fuel. This stuff has got a little bit of everything in it, man. It's fully dosed, it's awesome. I just buy it at GNC. You should check it out. The scooper on it is massive. It's a scoop. It's 31 grams. It's a big scoop. So make sure you check this stuff out. And let me know what you think about it. It's good. But let's get going. <laughs> All right, so for this chest exercise, I started off with just a machine uh, pec deck. Um, and with this one, you know, this is my warm up exercise. So I, I might do, you know, four or five sets on this one, slowly going up until I get to like my top set um, and then warming up all my joints and everything as I go along. Um, when you're doing these, try to keep your form really tight. And uh, just think about squeezing your elbows together and act like if you're about to hug a tree, like bear hugging a tree, just basically do that form. When I'm sitting there doing this motion, I'm imagining there being something in between me that I'm trying to wrap my arms around and grab my hands on the other side. So give this, give this one a try, y'all. All right, and here we have this from another angle, um, the same pec deck machine. Um, when you when you start this movement, you're gonna want to make sure you start just being planted with your feet on the ground and make sure you're really grounded really well. And then once again, just imagine the tree being in between you and you're trying to wrap around that. Another thing when I'm doing this pec deck machine, usually I'll just try to do more uh, a higher rep range, so anywhere from maybe 12 to 15, maybe even 12 to 20. Um, but I don't really like to go, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten on this. You know, I like to keep it a little bit higher rep range. I am still kind of warming up, getting ready for my presses after this. All right, so our second movement, uh, we hop straight on to an incline. Uh, we're doing a Smith Machine incline press here. Uh, you can see when I'm doing this one, when I drop down the bar, that my, my arms are going about probably 90 degrees. Um, that's totally okay. That's kind of what I recommend. Just go to go down to at least at least 90 degrees and then back up. on the Smith machine incline I did three working sets um, and then I did kind of one warm-up set to kind of get the movement down and then I followed that up with just three working sets all right for our third chest exercise we moved on to just a machine flat press. So this is just a machine flat bench press. Um, it's just mimicking basically if you were laying down doing a flat bench. On this one, I also did three working sets on this one as well, guys, where you're just going all out.
All right, and for our fourth and final chest exercise of the day, we did a standing, a standing uh, cable fly here where you bring it really low. And when I do this, guys, I'm really squeezing with the bottom of my chest. I'm trying to, I'm doing a high to low, basically chest cable fly. And when you do this, you really want to target the, the lower portion of your chest on this one. Um, if you were to switch this up and go from high to low, that's going to target more of your upper chest. All right, and I kind of treat this one like I did the flies in the beginning. Uh, normally I'll set the weight pretty heavy, but I'll try to knock out probably, you know, 12 to 15 reps. I keep it a little bit of a higher rep range, uh, really forcing a lot of blood in that lower chest. All right, after we finished off chest, we moved over to triceps. Um, and this is what we we started our tricep movement with here, was just a standing cable uh, cable tricep extension. Um, and this is my warm up exercise, so I'll kind of do the same general pattern as I do with all my exercises. I might do four to five sets on here, uh, increasing my weight over time as I'm getting warmed up. One of the biggest tips I can give you on this is uh, when you're about to start pulling down on the rope, make sure you feel the tension on your tricep to begin with. I start this movement and I get the weight sitting on my tricep so there's tension before I even start to pull the cable down. Um, and you can see as I'm bringing it down, I kind of open it up at the bottom, which really, really targets that tricep and makes it just fill up with a ton of blood. All right, do three solid sets on this one. When when you finally get warmed up, get three solid sets where you go all out and your triceps are just burning. They feel like they're about to blow up. All right, for our second tricep movement, uh, we just did a seated seated dumbbell overhead tricep extension. Um, and you can see when I drop down on this one, you just wanna take it down to where it's about 90 degrees where your arms are. And uh, when I do this one, I really like to drive through with my palms. That really seems to activate the tricep a lot more. All right, and on this one, do two to three all-out sets where you get the weight up to basically as heavy as you can. Um, on this one, sometimes I'll work around that 10 rep range, 10 to 12 sometimes. I think I maxed out here using a 70-pound dumbbell, um, and I probably got 12 with that one, so that's kind of the rep range I was using for that. All right, so for our third tricep exercise, we moved on to just uh, a classic skull crusher. These ones are really, really good. You kind of get the weight up a little heavy um, and really get your triceps burning.
I would say do do a good three solid three to four working sets on this one, guys, where you're going all out. All right, and for the last tricep exercise of the workout, uh, we just did some kind of tricep dips, this variation here. Um, I like this one a lot. When you're doing this, I'm pressing up off of the palms and I'm really just kind of, I'm really just pivoting at my elbow, which is really causing a lot of blood to get forced into your triceps. And to do this, guys, push off your palms on the bench and do five to six sets of these where you take minimal rest in between, man. And these are killers right here. This is a great way to finish off your, uh, your workout. Alright, that was the workout for today. Now make sure to try that out. Give that a try guys. Comment and let me know how it was.